You've been playing me for a fool all the time, and the whole time letting me believe. Oh, yes, oh, yes, you were planning. What were you planning to harm me? Worse, you were planning to destroy me and let me believe the whole time you were coming around. You are ready to become my wife, in my sight, in my bed. Oh, you believed what you wanted. Yes, you believed... you're right. I've only myself to blame. I was momentarily distracted by some romantic idea of love. Well, thankfully, I'm free of that. No more romantic notions. Joshua, you need to let go of me. Oh, I need to let Please. go of you, do I? I need to let go of you. Oh, do you hear that, oh. Jamal? Yeah, I heard it. Look, there's so many women out there who would appreciate you and, and love you for what you are and what you have to offer. Are you offering me a solution? No, I mean, I'll, I'll help you go find one, I promise. No, that's not the solution that I have in mind. Please. No. It's time you listen to me. I've tried to do things your way. Tried to do things a civilized way. I've honored every single request. And I made you very comfortable. Haven't we, Jamal? You're my witness. Haven't we treated her like a princess? <sighs> yep, just like royalty. I've appreciated all of it. I know I have. No, you haven't. Not enough. Now it's time that we do things my way. Where are you going? Sorry, Allie. You gotta stay and face the music. No, I'll get you the damn ring, okay? You can you can put it through your nose for all I care, all right? Mm, not good enough. What do you mean it's not good enough? That's what you want, I thought. If I could trust you, under the circumstances, we'll both go. Well, but what, why would I need you? You can't get the ring off Joshua, and you can't get anywhere near him. That ring makes him vampire proof. So I distract him. You drive a stake through his heart. Then we both get back what we've lost. I'd rather work alone. And risk losing Allison? Hey, you don't like me. Fine. But you gotta admit, when it comes to something like this, I have my strong points. And it's not like you haven't made a deal with the devil before. And I should trust you because... You know I'm right. Once Joshua's gone, I get my ring back, and you get the woman you love. And we all live happily ever after. Sounds good to me. Unless you'd like to waste some more time arguing. Let's go. Knock, knock. Back off! Back off or I'll snap her neck. So, did we come at a bad time? Yeah. Hey. Your girlfriend doesn't want a face full of acid. Don't, please. You son of a bitch. Just a little vampire trick I learned from you. What do you want, Frank? For starters, someone tell me why Vampire Man is hanging here with you. Slayer. Hey, right. can you fill him in on that? I got something. Great. Right. Look, don't be stupid, Frank. Stupid? I'll tell you, stupid. Rafe pretending to be on the skids to get Joshua's guard down? Now, that's stupid. The two of you working together when you hate each other's guts and sending Livy to the elixir to announce to the world that Caleb Morley's back and Joshua Temple is history. That is the stupidest thing of all. Frank, besides you jabbing me on the side with the switchblade, I don't really have a problem with you, and I'd like to keep it that way. Oh, what? Am I supposed to be shaking in my boots here? Because I've got a news flash for both of you. I don't care if you are a vampire again. You don't have the power. Joshua has the ring. He's the man. Are you working towards a point here? The point is, I'm putting out a call to the rank and file, and if I were you too, I'd prepare for a little battle. What are you doing? Taking care of Joshua's business. Don't ever lie to Joshua. Not ever. You don't have to get involved in this, Jamal. I can handle this little lady. I have very special plans for her. Whatever you say. But there's something I gotta tell her first. You know, you could have made this easy on yourself. But as usual, you wanna go making things difficult. Making things difficult? We are talking about my life. Yeah, and your life has been turned upside down ever since Rafe landed in Port Charles, hasn't it? I've seen it so many times, I can't even count. You're so blind by anything that has to do with Rafe that you can't even tell what's right from wrong. I don't have to take this anymore. I'm not going to listen to this. Like you ever did. Rafe, Rafe is like a sickness with her. He's the disease that turns her mind into mush. Well, you cannot be exactly objective yourself, Jamal. You were once in love with her, too. Yeah, and she loved me also. 
And she left me anyway, for Rafe. What exactly are you trying to say? That maybe if you want to get her to pay attention, you should do what any other regular old vampire would do. Bite her right now. Make her into your slave. Because she's definitely not worthy of being your bride. Hmm. A little rumble with you and your friends. That sounds like fun, but kind of a waste of my time, don't you think? Are you kidding? I can sell tickets, and that's the truth. Oh, uh, the truth is, Joshua's a loser. You're wrong. Like I said, Joshua is the man. Your loyalty is sadly misplaced. My loyalty is to the guy who won the prize. And that's clearly Joshua. He's got your ring, your woman, not to mention the keys to her family fortune. Oh, fine. You, you can think that if you want, but in the end, it's probably going to get you killed. <laughs> Let's... You are right, Jamel. An ordinary vampire would soon find some ordinary punishment for her betrayal. But we all know I'm not the slightest bit ordinary. Look, if you're planning to torture me... No, I'm planning to marry you and all that it entails. And by the time I'm finished with you, you'll wish I'd only bitten you. You and your obstinacy, you'll be as docile as a lamb. I don't want to look at you anymore. Get her out of my sight, Jamal. Fine. Hey, you okay? Stop, stop, stop. What are you saying? You told him to bite me. He could have bit me. I had to say something to distract him. I was so scared. You have absolutely no idea. Shh, stop. Okay, I brought her some time, didn't I? Okay, by letting him stroke his own ego. That whole thing could have blown up in your face. You have no idea. I wouldn't let it get that far. Okay, now, Allison, stop. You gotta trust me. Okay. You're right. I need to focus. I need to focus. Where is Rafe? Do you think that Joshua's goons caught him? I don't think so. I think Rafe is a little bit smarter than that. Now, look, don't, don't give up on Rafe. And definitely do not give up on yourself. Okay. Right. Okay, you and me. Yeah. Look at you. Calm you're down, calm so, down, you're still helping me after everything you've been through. Now, don't start feeling sorry for me now. I got nobody to blame for this but myself. If I could fix this for you, I would. I, I know, swear I know, to you. I know. You know I couldn't get through this without I know, you. I know, you know that. Don't start thanking me now until we're safely out of here, okay? okay. But for now, let's get you up to your room before Mr. Joshua comes okay. out, okay? Okay, okay. I'm still gonna make you my bride, Allison. And you may not love me, but I will make you honor me. And obey me. Rafe! We need you. I gotta go. No, you don't understand. We need to go to the hospital You right don't now. understand. I can't. Lucy's taking a turn for the worse. We need to go right now. Of course. I'll, I'll be there, okay? I gotta take care of something first. <clears throat> she needs your blood. Slay your blood. We're going. You know what? I said I would meet you there. <clears throat> There's nothing more important than you coming with me right now. I know what you told me. We're running out of time. She needs your blood. We tried everything else. Okay, so you think Slayer Blood's the answer? I don't know. But it makes sense. She fell in that pool of water and she lost the Slayer powers. If we can get him back somehow. You can save her life. Yeah. So let's go. All right. I, of course, I will help. Then let's go. I, I, can't I need do you now. This now. I can't. I promise you. I promise you. Lucy will get all the blood she needs. I can't do this now. I've got something I gotta do. Huh? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> 